Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick message out to you today to talk a little bit about the Facebook Elite Retreat that we're planning in Phuket this year. So with me today is James Van Ellswick, who we brought to Berlin to speak at our very first live event and he just crushed it talking about spending 30 to 40k a day on solar lead generation. And I thought, okay, I want to work with this guy again. We went to, we ended up going to Russia together, got, you know, got in some trouble over there. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and now he's coming back to Bangkok to come to Facebook Mastery Live to do another talk for us. And we've also decided to partner on the Facebook Elite Retreat. Uh, James is a, is a veteran media buyer. He's also a veteran of attending masterminds. Uh, and so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what, what we get out of masterminds, why we go to them, and what we are hoping to do with the Facebook Elite Retreat. How's it going, James? It's going fantastic, Eric. How are you? Very well. You're, for, you're in Paris right now? That is right. I am here in uh, lovely Paris, uh, enjoying uh, enjoying a bit of Europe. The weather's like uh, still actually pretty nice, so it's cool. Nice. So when you told me when I told you I wanted to put on this elite retreat, you're like, I want to be a part of this. Why? Why initially did you did you recognize this as a good idea? And and talk a little bit about your experience with masterminds. Yeah. So they're they're really connected. Um, I've been going to masterminds and just in. in in general, investing in any type of education product for my learning for a number of different reasons. Um, the mastermind is a piece of learning that I like to spend money on the most because I get to learn information as well as grow my network. Uh, last year, I went to Tim Bird, fantastic, still talking to people from them, uh, from that mastermind. I just got done with the Tan Brothers, amazing. Um, <laughs> still talking to people in detail about what we learned there. And it's kind of like I think about it um, in two different ways. One is when people are going to college, let's say in America, for example, you're going to spend 50, 60K and you probably won't get anything that has a direct positive ROI, a tangible ROI on your income. Whereas when you go to a mastermind, you are going to get a positive ROI, and the more money that you're spending, the easier it is to get that ROI. There were probably three or four tricks from the Tim Bird Mastermind that I could directly correlate to impre increased money. Um, and the TAN, same thing. I mean, absolutely, there were tips upon tips that uh, would've got my money back. So that that's like kind of the first two uh, big reasons that I'm into masterminds. And then the next thing is networking. Um, finding other people, finding other offers, Having people to talk with about what's going on with your campaigns, what type of uh, problems you're having, what things are going well. When you hang out and bond with people and learn together, you're just really open to sharing with them and the learning just goes up uh, a bunch. And also, um, you get to kind of see where you are in your progression of things because you're going to meet other people that are doing the same thing as you. And we're a pretty isolated lot to begin with. So basically, you start seeing other people doing what you're doing so you can make comparisons like, okay, I'm doing this well, this I need to catch up on, I like the way they're doing that. So it, it's nice to learn from the teachers, but it's also nice to learn from uh, the other people there. So I, I absolutely love masterminds. Nice. So when we decided, so you know, you're someone who's attended a lot of masterminds, but you also have a ton to teach, uh, as you've shown with your different talks that you've done, your the, the course that we're working on and things like that. So what are you personally hoping to bring to the table when it comes to like... You know, I wanted to say a little bit because most masterminds have one or maybe two, uh, you know, experts who who are brought there or who, who put on the mastermind. In this case, we're bringing a bunch of our teachers from Facebook Mastery Live, including the Tan Brothers, including Jason Kreisky and Patrick Dermack and uh, Muhammad Ali Agel and even Maria Claudio from Facebook is going to be coming by to drop some knowledge on us. So, uh, from what is what is what that you think that that you're going to bring to the table at this event, maybe more more so than others. I mean, look, first off, I want to take a bunch from the table. Like everybody you listed there, I'm excited to, I would absolutely pay myself to go and listen to these people. Um, I think that what I'm going to bring to the table is a few different things. You know, I have multiple media buyers at this point. Like I have, I have a full media buying company, you know, uh, web design, motion graphics, affiliate stuff, uh, media buyers. So I think that the jump from being a one-man media buyer to being able to scale up and have a team, I think that I can bring a lot of help and access there. Uh, systemizing, utilizing VAs, a lot of the core competencies of scaling a business because my my businesses before affiliate marketing were very labor heavy. Um, so I learned a lot of good systems for this and um, 
I think a lot of people are lacking this in the affiliate space. I think that's one thing that I think is very beneficial. That's the huge. Other we get that all the time about people who can scale businesses on their own. They can make a ton of revenue. But when it comes to the brick and mortar aspects of hiring and building teams and compensating teams and things like that, uh, I could see that being a huge benefit for people coming. Totally. Like, how do you interview and find media buyers? How do you bonus them for performance? How do you train them? How do you get stuff off the plate that you shouldn't be doing? How do you prioritize your time so you're best invested? So that like at the end of the day, um, like when I went to, uh, when I spoke at Facebook Mastery Live, my team scaled like a boss. Like everything that we were doing, I wasn't looking at campaigns at all. And my profit went up so much while I was there. And it was the sense of satisfaction that I owned a business. It wasn't like me having to go out and hunt every day. I was like making very good money while I was doing something completely else, which I think is part of the dream of this affiliate marketing thing is to be able to have true freedom. But if true freedom means you're always in front of a laptop, albeit in a you know nice area, you're still not really free. So I think teaching teams and growth is something that I, I really like to do. On top of that, you know, we buy media on uh, Facebook and you know Taboola, Outbrain, Rev Content, some Google. Um, we do lead generation, we do e-commerce. I think that I have good experience and have spent a bunch on a lot of different traffic sources. So I'm able to kind of uh, pop up and give help on all of those areas. Um, and then I also think like offers, like running white hat offers, you know, this is what I do. I own offers where I work directly with the, the call centers and buyers. So I have to produce traffic for them. So I understand how to run white hat offers in a way where you make money, but you also keep the buyers happy. Um, and I think this is very beneficial to the people going to uh, this event. You know, all so. the pieces are there. Yeah, and one of the things that I'm really seeing that we're bringing to the table that's a little bit different is we have we're bringing the best from this lead generation world as well as the best from this e-commerce world. And I'm really yes. interested to see the way that these spaces can intersect once we get once we get these people who are experts at driving traffic and driving leads and experts at pushing products and building stores. I, I really think there's some cool things that can come out of this gathering. Totally. The, some of the stuff that I took away from the TAN Mastermind, which was e-com focused, I went and put into play for my lead gen stuff and it worked. You know, not everything translates, but it was so close because at the end of the day, media buying is media buying, but there's just so many different strategies, how to do things, how to have your team run that I, I really implemented a lot of what I learned into the lead gen side. And I think some of the things that I shared with people from my lead gen experience, I, I really believe they implemented as well. I obviously don't know, but um, it, it is very, uh, very conducive to exchange. So James, how do you see your specific role at this mastermind when it comes to helping everyone? What are you going to be putting on the line here? No, that's a good that's a good question. Look, I'm a visualizer, so I like to think about things and visualize, et cetera. And when I when I picture myself and what I realize I'm super committed to is I really want to dig in with people. Like I want them to ask me any question they want to ask. If they want me to look at their campaigns, if they want me to talk to them about hiring, recommend books just you know shoot the shit about their girlfriend i don't i don't care but any questions that people have i really want to um i'm committed to spending one on one time with every question that is asked um and just trying to help man just be like i'm going to be kind of a, a part of their company or part of their team for a few days just trying to give as much guidance as i can to increase their profitability so um i'm pumped i'm real pumped Amazing. And we're going to expect this out of all of our experts that we're bringing to the table. Uh, but but I think that'll really set the tone. The one thing that I wanted to talk also quickly about was the format that you said was so effective at some of these uh, masterminds that you've been to that you called the hot seat, which is yeah. something like we can we can do as much one way presenting as we want where we where we talk. But but really what's going to move the needle for people, I think, is when they can dig in, not just with one expert or two experts, but five experts plus a room full of other high, high level expert advertisers, yeah. the amount of problem solving that'll happen there in this kind of hot seat format. Can you talk a little bit about how that worked? Yeah. So, I mean, it's nice in this type of setting. Um, it is just conducive to um, a lot of sharing and critiquing. So basically it's the idea of sitting in a circle and then each person kind of describes their business, the ups, the downs, the things they need to fix, the things that they do well. You know, five or six questions 
that kind of break down their business to the essence. And then the, the teachers or the people leading the mastermind, as well as some of the other high level guys will go through and give advice on these things. You know, if you're having a problem with this, you just say, okay, this is the problem I'm having. And then everyone kind of tries to get you over that hump. Or maybe you say like, look, these are things that I'm really good at. And we figure out how to expand on those things. So it's like having, um, you know, a critique with an educated outside uh, person just giving you a deep critique of your business and one on uh, one. Helping you make one on one. Yeah, just with going a room through. full of peers. Totally, it's yeah. listen. It's so cool because um, what ends up happening is you talk about your personal situation, and then maybe like in the group or on the outside, people come up to you or you come to them and be like, "Yo, I'm having the same problem. This is nuts. Like this sounded like me over there. Like you're going through this testing issue or this was happening." So you felt like, um, in some ways, you felt really good where you were at, but you saw like others were at the same place, or you even doing better. And there were other spots you realized, like, hey, here's the answer I've been looking for this whole time. Not just someone telling me, but someone who's like, you know, on my level or above my level, who's done giving it. me advice. Yeah, totally, totally. It's really a wonderful format, as opposed to like a one-sided uh, interaction. This multi-sided attack, uh, I just think, gives a lot more uh, texture to the dialogue. So everyone gets a lot more uh, out of it. Amazing. What I'm personally really excited for as well is sharing a little bit of what I want to do with iStack training with this group of elite nice. marketers. Like these people are, you know, you're, you're at this level, you're going to have a lot to contribute in all sorts of ways. And what I'm really keen is finding ways, just like we're partnering with you uh, and some other marketers as well to, to build in a, in a community of amazing elite marketers. Uh, and, and then really seeing what we can do when it comes to like conquering the world. Like I think there's so much that, that can happen in, in, in these kinds of things. And I'm really looking forward to kind of politicking uh, with this group of people that we, that we bring together to talk about uh, some of my plans for the future and what we can do both as marketers but also as people leading the marketing space uh, in terms of training and events and all sorts of fun stuff. Dude, listen, your squad is pushing a lot of clicks. Like the people that you have involved with all of this are high level people spending a lot of money, pushing a lot of traffic. You have people, and I've seen it firsthand, that have been taking the courses, learning. They're upping their spend. They're upping their clicks. It, it really does add up at the end of the day as this kind of goes on, especially for such really kind of a young thing. You have a lot of high level people already being affected by it, and it's just going to continue to grow. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're killing it. This is a something that you've put together that's really a uh, – a strong, positive contribution to the marketing world. I have no idea where you'll end up with all of this, but you are putting together a squad of killers. I appreciate it. I'm glad to have you uh, on, on my squad, James. Now, last question here. Uh, obviously, we're going to this thing to learn. We're going this thing to grow our professional networks. But what's the sort of what's the vibe that we want to hit uh, with with these with these villas? We're going to have these baller villas in Phuket. We're going to they're fully catered, uh, all meals included. Basically, like how, what's the balance that you think we want to strike when it comes to chilling and learning? Like we have some time for both, but what, what what's your feeling on that? Man, luxury learning. I think that's really that's really the the end on this is that. Um, it's a lot easier to learn in just a baller ass villa and everything is taken care of for you. So you can kind of just free your mind of your responsibilities, not feel guilty and just learn and enjoy and chill. Um, it just is conducive to a lot better education compared to, you know, you go to a classroom or you go to a school and then you have to go to your job and you have all these responsibilities here it's like, you know, be in the sun, get a massage, eat good food in between your learning. Um, your brain is just more relaxed and more open. Um, I, I think it's, you know, the, the environment has such a big deal on how our brain functions. And this is just such a great environment. Um, I think this has a huge effect on performance and the, the intake of information. So I'm, look, I'm super stoked. I enjoy these things to death. I can't wait to learn talk to people, hang out, uh, and just kind of enjoy that nice Thailand vibe while I'm figuring out ways to make more money. I think you said it. I think we can end on that note. I think uh, uh, I, I can't wait for it as well. It's a, a couple months away now. Uh, we're putting the final details into place here. We've got some other special guests we're going to be bringing by. I mentioned Maria Claudio. She's going to be part of the VIP experience um, and, and putting her on the hot seat in ways that we will even expand on what we've done at Facebook Mastery Live with her. Uh, so there'll be more surprises coming out, but you want to lock these spots up quick because we have a maximum of 40 of them 
and we have we're selling quick we have a huge list of people who want to be a part of this um, just the names that we're bringing to the table and their networks have put put this this event out to a lot of different people and so if you want to be with us here in Phuket you really want to make sure you lock it down quick because it will be only a couple more weeks before this thing is sold out so uh, I really hope to see you guys all there and James we'll uh, we'll, we'll see a poolside excellent <laughs> cheers it'll be fun my man nice Bye.